YouTube, what's good, what's going on with you? It's your girl Simba, and it is time for another It is time for another Terror Tuesday reaction, okay? Um, we just gonna check out Spooky Scary Sunday number 18. Listen, I did two Spooky Scary Sundays in a row. Y'all not gonna get them in a row on YouTube, but we did two in a row just for the simple fact that I'm not gonna be here on the day that these are supposed to drop. So, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? So, with that being said, make sure you guys are. Oh, wait. Intro? Hey, look, 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 look. I ain't gonna hold you. I almost forgot my own. I forgot. I almost forgot to run my own intro. But look, um, it's a Swiggy Scary Sunday number 18. Do not video chat with her. Uh, make sure you guys are liking the video, okay? Subscribing to the channel if you are new. Turning on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. And then um, after that, come over to the Twitch. Come vibe. Come chill with us. Um, we watch scary videos every Tuesday over here on Twitch. And with that being said, man, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get into this. This is... Corey Kitchen, I don't know. I don't know. Yo, I have, I'm having like a little brain fart. I ain't even gonna hold y'all chat. I'm having, I'm having a little brain fart. What are you doing here? Please. Chat, listen. I ain't want a pocket watch. But this shit costs, chat. I ain't gonna hold you. And I say this shit every time. This shit right here, this chair that's in the background that you can't really see. That shit is, that shit costs, Okay. I think that shit like four, four to five bands, maybe even six. I think it might be six for real. But that shit, yo, listen. What are you doing here? But honestly, if I had it like that, I think I'd do it too. It's a scary Sunday, but guys, I don't know if we have time. My family. Wait. My family. Hello. Can I get a yes, sir? Hey, Black the Beast, thank you for the gifted sub. Look at you, you know what I'm saying, man? Said, I really wish I didn't have these ads. Your wish has been granted, my boy. Make sure you refresh, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for the gifted sub, my G. Oh. Mom? Dad? Hello? Dad? Wait. Did everyone leave? I just... <laughs> Mom. Cousins? Dad? <laughs> Cousins? No siblings, no relatives here. It's, it's just me. You know what that means, right? What you, what you finna get into? What you? All jokes aside, oh. my family has departed. It was a very swell visit. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm ready to get back to work. Things going back to normal on the channel here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna be playing some Mortal Kombat 11 soon. Slice that like button if you're excited about that. And today, we celebrate with a spooky scary Sunday, which I am happy that you are on time for once. Wait, we All on right, time so or you on started, time? Let's get some snacks. You guys know what time it is. Also, Edward Norton gave me a call. I told him the parents were in. He actually gave me another week, so we don't have to worry about him. Okay, cool, cool, which cool. Is good. Cool, cool, cool. We like those. We here, like those. I'm gonna kill him. Just like I have to do to everyone that irritates me. Uh, why are you watching me? You should be going to get your snacks. It's Spooky Scary Sunday. You right, G. You right, G. Y'all think I should... Yeah, Y'all think I should go get a... Uh... What you call that? Y'all think I should go get some Ritz? Nah. I, I, I'll get some Ritz after. You think I should go get the Ritz? I'll be right back. I still got the headphones on. I'm gonna go get some Ritz. You still standing there? I'm going!
Now, if you don't know what Spooky Scary Sunday is by now, then I'm sure, I'm positively, overwhelmingly sure that you just subscribed in the last 15 minutes. Am I right? Yeah? No. What the frick do you mean, no? I'm I've been doing Spooky Scary Sunday for over a f Oh, you did Damn, just I just got back. Why are okay, you yelling well, at me? I can explain. Spooky Golly. Scary Sunday. Wow, that's a... That's a blooper! <laughs> Movie Scary cool. Sunday is a show where every Sunday we come together as the samurai, our Collectively. small little quaint tribe on YouTube. We come together, relax, and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter uh -huh, using uh -huh. the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. Sunday. You go on yes, Twitter, sir. follow me at Corey Kenshin. I'll give you uh, maybe four or five seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead and do it. At Corey Kenshin, hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday, and then drop a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you, you get, get a, a shout, shout out, out boss. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks. Go mm -hmm. ahead, get you some uh, wild berry pop tarts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe some starburst jelly beans, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I don't know, a root beer. But with mm -hmm. all that being said, first video. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. This first one is called Sonic the Hedgehog Improved Trailer. I mean, <laughs> with all the Sonic news that's going on, this is fitting. Now, this was uploaded by Surreal Entertainment. What's good, my friend? And this was sent to us by Meme Agent. So, Agent, you have fulfilled your duties. A promotion is in order for mm -hmm. I now mm -hmm. dub thee no longer Meme Agent, but Meme Lord. Okay. Is he? Oh, gotta oh. go fast. What the freak? This isn't Sonic. What? He Why is the ring being picked up? Ha 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 ha. Oh. All right. Golly. It's all good. Just pick him up. Gotta go fast. Uh. Is he smushed? What? <laughs> Why is fucking Lightning McQueen there? Cars? Hop in. Uh. That's not what how you get in cars. What is going on? What's going on? It is. <sighs> I lightning man. Am speed. What about the coins? What did I just? Oh, we just can't. What did I just see? Like, hello? But we just can't just bypass that. Like, that just, just happened. Like, you know? Yes, sir. Ah. Mm. Okay, now we can get on to the real scary videos. The next one is called Instagram Dating Horror Story. And this is uploaded by Juan C Entertainment. And this was sent to us by Tom Kopersky. Kopersky? I'ma call you Tom Cop. Tom Cop, the time cop. What? Now, Tom, as a reward, one of these delicious, nutritious wild berry pop tarts. My favorite flavor. Uh, why do y'all do this every time? Because we don't eat the wild. Wait, we don't know because we, we don't eat the wild berry over here, bro Come on respectfully talk to us nice. We Wild berry bro. Come on if it's not bro If this not is if this not strawberry or uh, brown sugar cinnamon bro this get that shit up on my face wild berry Come on now strawberry and brown sugar cinnamon uh, like. Come here come on, the Instagram horror story I was a big Tinder guy a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I went. Bro, this guy is black. I would update <laughs> my location and then update, you know, my body count. 
body count. Then I quit doing Tinder and stuck with Instagram. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know they're completely different and IG has a bunch of fake accounts. So, does so I saw this girl commenting on all of my friends' pictures. Then she commented on mine. Uh oh. I also saw my friends replying, so I figured she was a real person because I looked on her page and she had way more followers than people she was following. Okay. Just like me. So go ahead, go to Instagram. Everybody, take a second. Is the story ain't hold going on, nowhere? On. Go to Insta go to Instagram and follow me at. Hold on, let me make it. You know what I'm saying? Let me pull it up because I just feel like you know what I'm saying. Follow me. Hold on. Let me go find it. Mm mm mm. You know what I'm saying? If he, he gonna plug himself, I'm gonna plug myself as well. You know what I mean? Follow me at, uh, let me make this real, real big. Uh, follow me at, uh, Simba the God underscore. You know, just, just a slight plug. That's what Corey, Corey was gonna tell you that. Corey was gonna tell you that. Corey's gonna tell you that. He said, Instagram, everybody take a second. Is the story ain't going nowhere. He told you, see? Instagram at Corey K. At Simba the God. Trying to get to 600K followers. Trying to get today. to 6K today. Do, today you know, know what I'm saying? That's my like feed. Um, Don't worry. Story, it's not, that's I, not Corey's right face. Away, that's my why face. Why would you want to talk to a girl now? Yeah. He said, he said to follow me, bro. That's what happened. That's what he said. He said to follow me. All your friends were already replying to you. You know? You really trying to share with the bros like that? DM'd her. <laughs> I definitely thought she wasn't going to reply, but he DM'd she did her. in an hour. Bro, you're desperate. We talked for <laughs> maybe two or three weeks, and we made it official. She was pretty, had a degree, and a good job. So y'all ain't never FaceTime or nothing? Y'all ain't never FaceTime, you know? Y'all gotta stop trying to fall for these people that won't FaceTime you, bro. It's just not, not gonna hit. As she said, Dang. I felt she was out of my league and too perfect. Right. Every day she posted new photos. And I told my friends about her and they seemed pretty jealous, except for my friend Ryan. He said I was stupid because I never spoke with her. And I only messaged her. Yeah, I mean. She invited me over because she said she can cook. Ryan told me to don't go. The rest of my friends said, don't have any kids, and they would laugh. Yo, so I went over there, mm -mm. but not without Ryan calling me a clown first. The GPS says she lived about Ryan an hour away. Know something. When I first started to talk to her, she told me that she lived in a nice neighborhood. But when I got there, there were people everywhere, and the neighborhood was not that nice. Oh, turn mm -hmm. around. We when out. I stopped at the stop sign at the corner, people walked up to my windows and asked me, what do I need? Get back! But I pulled off really fast and got to the house. It was a duplex. So I messaged her, and she said to come up the stairs. It was about 9 at night, and people were everywhere just standing around. Oh, no. I knocked on the door, and I was definitely See? excited. No, sir. Because she told you she lived in just this nice old house, and y'all just had everything going for y'all and she was this and she was that and w you know what i'm saying she was capping if she capped the whole if she lied about you to where you know what i'm saying i never spoke never facetime which is you're bugging you ever meet on somebody on the internet and you do not facetime them you're bugging okay number one two if she lied about where she live at, if she she lied about her house and her neighborhood, that's already two lies, bro. And y'all never spoke. You giving it too many chances, bro. You deserve anything that's coming to you. Like, can, can we get a can we get a collective? No, sir. We need a collective no, sir in the chat. Cause what was he thinking? Like, we we. I don't care. No poom is ever that deep, bro. Do I have a Patreon? No, I don't. At SIM Bath of God Live, do you have a Patreon? I used to, but I don't anymore. The door opened. <laughs> <to my surprise. laughs> he should have known. I actually thought you were about to meet her without any phone calls, without any video chat, FaceTime. Mm -hmm. You actually thought you were about to. <laughs> 
Must be out your mind, bro. <laughs> Must be out your mind, bro. He actually thought you. <laughs> out your mind, bro. He thought. He thought of. <laughs> Headed white guy with a patchy beard, tattoos everywhere, including his head, with a tank top on. That's a cholo. I asked, "Was Lisa home?" And he said, "Yeah, come in." Yeah, uh -uh. it's Lisa. You went inside. Oh my god, this nigga different. He went inside. He went inside. This nigga different. He went inside. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You, anything that happened to you in this house, you deserve it wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly, you deserve everything coming to you. My God! I was immediately hit with a musty smell mixed with cheese. He told me to sit down. He's a and he sat down across from me on the couch. He said she'll be out soon. He asked me, did I want something to drink? And I said, yeah, sure. When I got up. I texted her, can he, she come out? He got please? devil tattoos all she over. She immediately him. said yes. The man came back in with two cups of juice. No. One for him and one if for If he myself. drinks this, I will punch then my monitor. Then I noticed that he put a phone down on the table. Wow. Next to so I, 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 I said I would do it. This man just drank the punch out the punch bowl at the suicide party. You earned this, pal. You earned this! <laughs> got some on my arm. Then I asked for a tissue. He went to get some tissue and he left his phone like I thought he would. I texted her back and to my horror, the phone rang. I looked on a caller ID and it was my name. I heard him coming back. Uh, what? He came back in. Are you serious? He sat there for about a minute. And then the phone rang again because he never checked the message that I sent. Oh shit. He looked at the phone. I looked oh, at the shit. phone. I looked at the phone. Yeah. Then we looked at each other. I postured up. And he calmly said, I guess you caught me. Then out of nowhere he lunged toward oh, me. Oh, he's hands. Attempting to grab me. Oh! oh! Uh -huh. his face. Oh! I didn't oh, hate his so shit. And I never looked back. Yeah, I called the cops. And when they got there, the man was still knocked out. Sleep. After Nigga that, was sleep. I never went on dates with people that I've met online again. Mm-mm. Okay. One two combo chat. One two combo. That nigga was still sleep. You know what I'm saying? Get a little bit of these. A little bit of these. That brother was out. I got some words, all right? He redeemed the freak out of himself right there. Oh, my God. Bro, did you see the K.O. K.O. Malcolm Punk. They did the Scott Pilgrim <laughs> freaking. Uh, I said catch these hands, but they never really. <laughs> they never really throw a punch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you good. I go hit me. Dog, I will slide you. <laughs> 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 These bitch. What's hitting? They hitting. They hitting. This next one's called My Creepy Coworker Has a Crush on Me, and it was uploaded by Stephen D. Now, this was sent to us by Quincy Dorm. So, Quincy, is this me and you right now? All the other samurai. I'm not talking to y'all. Just go ahead, plug I'll dry, ears, high key. Gotta I gotta drink we'll water with walk. it. I, I don't really care. Because you didn't send me this. You didn't follow me on Twitter. You didn't hashtag Sweet Scary Sunday. And you didn't send me this. So don't get mad. Get glad, my guy. Anyway, Quincy, I just want to say thank you so much for sending me this. Rich Creepy chat. Creepy coworker has a crush on me, man. This is, this is probably about to be lit, huh? You watched it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Back when Sarah was 17, she worked at a small local bakery. There were less than 15 employees spread across all the night and day shifts, so they only had a few people working during the day. Okay. One of these people was Dave, the delivery driver. Oh, Dave. From the first time they met, Dave immediately like the gave Sarah looked. an off vibe. 
He was in his mid 50s and way too friendly. I don't to like the way Dave girl. looked. But the boss told her that yes, he could be annoying, but no one worked harder than he did. So just ignore his antics. Okay. Sarah then recalled that when mm -hmm. she signed the paperwork, they never asked her to submit a background check. And in hindsight, that should have been red flag. Exactly. Over the course of the year or so that she worked with Dave, Sarah tried very hard Look to ignore him. him. He was just rarely outright it. creepy, but he was always just a bit. Yo. Why are you peeking around the. I will. I will beat your motherfucking ass, Holmes. Stop looking at me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What you looking at? What you trying to get into, Mr. Delivery Man? You know what I'm saying, Chad? What you bit too friendly. He would stick around long after his shift was Yo. over to talk to This nigga drooling, chat. He's drooling, chat. He's drooling, chat. He's drooling. You said we in the same thing? We friends? Of course we friends. This nigga drooling. To her and another pastry chef. He always wanted to lick the bowl after she finished making Rice Krispie treats. He would always stand in front of the racks or equipments or ingredients just enough that sometimes her hand would brush him while reaching for something. Oh, you're down you're horrendous. Stood just this man is getting off to a brush of the arm. Shorty brushed his arm. He said, ugh. You know what I'm saying? You're down horrendously, bro. A little too close. Dave was constantly asking Sarah about her life. This, th you know, and you know how he, you know how he wanted them ones, chat? You want to tell? Because his neck too thick and he got a weird mustache. When they neck too thick and got that mustache that he got, that's how you know, chat. That mustache and the thick ass neck, bruh, chat, he wanted them ones. What she liked, what she did for fun, if she had a boyfriend. Almost daily, he would tell her how a nice girl like her should have a boyfriend. How maybe a boyfriend. Oh, see, would... that's where you. That's where. We, that's where we draw the line. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do not, yo. I would. I would have put. I would have put. I would have put pause on colossal. this. Oh, you want. You want to touch? I'm a. Boop boop. You know what I'm saying. Thank you for the prime. Mick, Mick, you know what I'm saying? Real quick chat, you know what I'm saying? Give him the quick one-two biscuit. I would have given Popeye's biscuit no more and drink. You're down horrendously. Get your big ass off me. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Hey, thank you for the prime, bro. Unhand me, you troglodyte. Oh, I don't. this slide because sometimes older people can say things that were meant differently in their time. But then it was the concert invites. Every other week, he had tickets to one concert or another. Once he figured out Sarah's favorite genre of music, it was oh almost exclusively tickets. Yo, this nigga's a menace. <laughs> Look how slick my dude was. Look how he slick said, he was. Oh, that's what you like. Another. Once he figured out Sarah's favorite genre of music, <laughs> it was. Oh, that nigga is. This is how I used to walk by my crush in high school. Oh, she likes Lost, huh? Okay, I'll talk about that next time. <laughs> it's almost exclusively tickets to bands she desperately wanted to see. Bro, but hell she also no. She knew that she should not go anywhere with him. Then her birthday came. He bought if her she a wasn't even 18 yet? Was oh, this nigga is different. Chad, she wasn't even 18 yet, bro. If I was her as soon as I seen him creeping, I'm jumping over Chat, the counter and walking even... out, never coming back. Chat, she wasn't even 18 yet. Oh, this nigga is different. Size is too small. He told her to try it on after work and text him a photo. No. And proceeded to give Sarah his phone number. He didn't ask for her no, number. No, bro. She said no. He asked <laughs> the other pastry chef for her number, but she had her back and refused as well. Ugh. He also brought two tickets from another band that Sarah had been wanting to see. VIP section 21 oh, plus only. Nigga. He said he could get her in. She just had to Ew. go with him Ew. and him alone. This continued for a while. Sarah brought it up to one of her bosses, but they laughed it off as, oh, classic. Oh, see, no. These are some type of managers. You, uh uh. These are one of the ones that make you want to quit the job, bro, before you, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is you giving this nigga so many passes? That's what I'm not fucking with. Why, why is he getting so many passes, bro?
Now I'm finna report you too. I'm finna report you too, bro. Dave, when he wanted a hug on his birthday Classic and hugged her Dave. without consent, there's Dave for you, offering to get her booze or pot. Oh, Dave, you scamp. When he pulled up his shirt and showed his abdominal scar from a snowboarding accident. These is one. He wanted them ones, chat. I told you the big neck mustache niggas. He wanted them ones, chat. And he got to go. Those are the ones you just. Those are the ones that either. You 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 gotta call the cops on, like not even bro, like you just gotta beat the shit out of those, shit, like. What are you doing? Don't fucking touch me. No, I don't want to see your big ass gut, nigga. No, you fat ass fat. F no, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Chat. No. Listen, chat, listen. Y'all smarter than that. Don't ever fall for none of these weirdos like these, please. 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 Y'all smarter than that, chat. Come on. Don't ever. Well, that's just Dave. No respect for boundaries. But he was a good worker. Sarah I'm even considered having one of her big, strong male friends come in under the guise of being her boyfriend yo, just yo. to placate Dave. She was repulsed by him, but he hadn't really done anything to classify himself as a predator. Besides yeah, asking for did. her number, he, yeah, he had did. never tried to straight up harass her. And besides the odd hug or two that she was too shy and afraid to refuse, he Bro. hadn't gotten super physical. Speak up. Then mm -hmm. one day, Dave was gone. His name disappeared from the employee Ooh. roster. Sarah's boss asked to see her in the office. She informed her that Dave you don't was get him no away longer from me. employed yeah, at the business. Dave had been fired. He was fired because Dave was a convicted sex offender. There is one count kidnapping a minor from the mid-90s and another count that she doesn't want to think about. They had never background checked him, and when they contacted a friend you... in the police department, they found out that Dave had been lying on lots of paperwork, hiding the fact that he was a convicted felon and not notifying anyone when he moved. Oh, but that's just Dave, right? That's just Dave, right? That's just Dave, right? And listen, Once they brought this information to the police department's attention, they had a few more charges to add. They found out because apparently he had been stalking and harassing one of the clients he delivered to. After his oh. termination, Dave showed up to work one day. He had a weapon with him, oh. but Sarah never found out what he had. They told him to leave or the police would be called, and he ended up leaving in handcuffs. Sarah was extremely relieved that she wow. wasn't there that day. It's been a while since she worked at the bakery, but sometimes she still thinks about how badly things could have gotten had she gone to even one of those concerts with him. Oh my God. Now that we know- Bro, the sound effects in this story- <laughs> the sound effects to anything. L job shut scary. that shit Guys, down. They should not get away with this. Morning, this. I went downstairs. It was a long night. I woke up very hungry. There's only one breakfast food that could satisfy my empty stomach. It was cereal. I went to the pantry, grabbed a box. I went, grabbed a bowl with a spoon. Poured some frosted flakes into the bowl. They looked delicious. I went over to the fridge, grabbed the carton of milk. <laughs> Was empty. Bro. Ah. This next one's called a creepy deep. A creepy deep. <laughs> freaking stuttering. I'm sorry. This next one's called a creepy deep web story two. Oh, this man. was uploaded by Llama Arts. Llama hey, Arts. How's it been? We missed you. This was sent to Llama us by Arts. Brandon FRFX. So Brandon, I appreciate you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Did he say hold your day. cheeks? I hope you're having a fantastic day. And, uh... Wait. I hope you have by Brandon. Hold your cheeks. What do you mean by that? FRFX. So, Brandon, what I do you appreciate mean by that? you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Fantastic and, uh... Day. Be smooth. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't even know what that means. Deep web. I was 26 years old, 
and I was unemployed. Feeling unfulfilled by the monotony of a job life, I decided I would try my hand at working from home. Mm -hmm. So my days and nights comprised me of surfing the internet for any jobs I could get. I was a big procrastinator, so more often than not, I'd stray away and waste time doing other things. Y'all remember when PewDiePie reacted to my video? Yeah! Yeet! <laughs> One day, I came across talk about the deep web while on Reddit. I felt amused by the people talking about it as if it was something so scary. Like the cheeks on your face, I'd come on, Simba, it. stop thinking dirty tears of joy, 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 tears of joy. But I made it even sillier by deciding to check it out late at night. Idiot. It was about 2 a.m. and I came across a website where you could chat with someone anonymously. The person I got was a woman. Mm -hmm. She was in her early 20s and very pretty. What? She sat with her head in her hands, looking playful into the webcam while batting her eyes. Do I had so. no desire to turn my camera on and started our chat, thinking that while I didn't come across anything scary, I could befriend this pretty girl. It sounded like a better deal anyway. Bro, how are you typing? She told me to turn the camera on, but I ignored that request and tried to get her to talk. Oh. She finally did after some prodding, but I noticed how guarded she was. Mm -hmm. I also noticed how after every message I sent, her eyes would look off camera, either to her side or somewhere behind Bro, her computer. she's being directed. Facts. After a while, it started getting annoying, so I asked her if someone else was there with her. I want to see you first. She said. Up until now, I've been chatting while she'd answered my questions hey, verbally. Listen, you do not listen. listen, uh, listen. Not that. You do not turn that camera on. If you don't want to, and she look like she talking to somebody to get you to turn your shit on, what that mean, bruh? Somebody plotting on you. They plotting on you. That curious. Okay. Don't be scared. She said, <laughs> laughing, this time looking behind the laptop again and making a face that seemed to indicate she was laughing at my expense with someone else. Yeah. This is getting boring. It feels like I'm not just talking to you. That's because you're not. You're talking Ooh. to all of us. Who's all of Who us? Who else is there? Turn your camera on. Dude. Is this a joke? I'm not no, no. Turn it on. No. Okay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Turn Get out of on the camera. Or Her what? laughter no. was almost piercing by now. There was nothing humorous about the situation, are? yet she threw her head back with I'd had enough and moved the cursor over to turn the chat box off when I saw the cursor had jammed. Oh, shit. The only shit. thing that was working was the chat box. Unplug. I still had access to the keyboard. Unplug. Turn, turn that computer turn the off. On, sweetie. No, Her baby. Her gumdrop filled voice was louder than before. Oh, no, baby. I moved my gaze up to see her smiling. First of all, I'm unplugging my camera. Bro, I ain't, I ain't even got one. Unplug your computer. Fake. I don't even got a camera. My you waste your time. I can't see the screen. Sorry. I lied. I didn't want her to know I had no option but to chat. Her screen flashed before going blank. There was nothing there but a black screen. I felt relieved, thinking that at least I didn't need to talk to her while I tried to figure out what happened to the screen. Just then, a chat message popped up. Open the damn camera, you... Oh my the aggressiveness in the message frightened me. Now, the fact that I couldn't see her face while she typed this made me feel nervous. Dude. I didn't dare reply back. He's still like doing the most. Turn the fucking camera. Turn oh. the computer off. No. Shell shocked as the cursor twirled around. Bro, the put your camera down. Open the camera now. I still didn't make a move. There was no way anything hey. good would be Bruh. waiting for Take me. Take the webcam. Yeah. No. 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 Just no. Wait, nigga, if you don't unplug this. Turn the computer off. Take your camera off the thing. Is it, yeah, you know, <laughs> chat. No, sir. I'm like, hello. I, I'm sorry, but some people be lacking com. They be lacking like common sense when they get scared, bro. They just lack common sense when they get scared, bro. Like, no, bro. Like, get it together, bro. You know. The screen began flickering, as if a virus was causing the computer oh to my. writhe in agony. Do you want me to find you? My heart raced. Could it be possible she knew where I was? I started typing. 
Please stop bothering me. Then turn on the f***ing camera. At this point, I thought she was some kind of sadist. And got her kicks by scaring unassuming people in chat rooms. So I obliged and turned the webcam on. Oh, you're bugging. I saw my frightened face staring into the screen. Judging by my face, my attempts at looking tough were painfully unsuccessful. Oh. You look I asked around for the girl looking straight into the camera, telling her I did what she wanted and to stop hacking into my computer. There were several seconds of silence. I kept my stare directed to the little box that showed her camera feed, but it was pitch black. I motioned into the camera in confusion, feeling as if she was messing with me now. He did. Then, Fudge. I saw another message. Look here. After a few seconds of staring at those words, I looked back at her camera, but my computer instantly malfunctioned, and I received another message. Look here. Don't look up. The chat was filled with nonsensical gibberish. Oh, you're dead, she dude. typed with such ferocious speed, my screen whirled away with her constant messages. I couldn't understand what was going on, but I didn't You're getting up. hacked, and she knows your my IP, she's outside thin, your house. And I wrote back, What is this supposed to mean? She's outside her your house. response came. I read only the letters in bold and shuddered. I looked back into her webcam, oh and I fell back into my chair. My eyes widening. She was back there. Only her face looked completely demented. What the f she had a savage expression, devoid of emotion, but her eyes were almost popping out of their sockets, and she was huffing as if she had extreme amounts of pent up rage. Bro. The way she looked directly into the camera made me feel she despised me with all of her being. Look at her. There was no amusement there what anymore. What the hell? Her camera See, went blank. This is why I don't do that Omegle nonsense, bro. Mm -mm. Y'all either weirdos or you ain't got no stuff, no no clothes on, bro. I'm sorry, bro. No. No, bro. No. Again. Then the chat popped up. Dude. My heart stopped again. Don't do it. For a split second, there had been the same blackness, only for the lights to come back on. Who the? She wasn't alone anymore. No. There was a man next to her with a black mask on. He made no movements other than look into the camera like the girl. The girl's neck oh. creaked to her side. It looked like it was causing her pain. And then the lights went out again. Bro, she the her chat resumed. Oh. This time, I screamed in fright and fell off my chair. There was another man with them now. He was standing next to the girl with oh. the original one on the other side. This man had the same mask on, but his hands were grasping the girl's shoulders. Even with the subpar quality of the webcam, I could see the force with which the man dug his hands into the girl. It looked like he could rip her in two. The girl, however, had a huge grin on her face. Her eyes were mad with glee, or so it looked. Her teeth were perfectly lined up as her mouth spread into that toothy grin, but I could see she was in pain. Even with the smallest sign of her smile fading, what is going the man on? clenched his hands even tighter than before, which made her smile even wider. All three of them were shaking, as if it was extremely cold where they were. After a couple seconds, I realized they were shuddering, like trying to hold back laughter. What are you laughing at? I yelled into the screen. They didn't answer, and continued to tremor with concealed hilarity. What is so damn funny? I bellowed. Bro, don't get tough now. shaking. Within a couple seconds, the screen went black again. They outside your house. When it turned back on, oh. the man no longer grasped the girl's shoulder. Neither was she smiling. All three pointed into the camera. Upon a closer look, I understood that they weren't at me. They were pointing oh, behind oh. me. I didn't need to- Oh, Chella! You see him? Oh my god. Oh my god. To look back, I could see myself in the webcam. There was someone peeking from behind me. It was another man in a mask. And according to Chad. what I saw in my webcam, he was with me in my room right behind me. I turned around quickly, but saw nothing where I had seen- <sighs> Bruh. <sighs> Guys. 
That literally gave me chills, guys. <laughs> Look at my I'm eyes. Crying. Oh my Bro. gosh, the way that they did that. Llama! <laughs> I haven't been genuinely creeped out like this in a while. That's the thumbnail of the video. The way that they did that is. Oh. Damn, in the webcam. Bruh. I turned back towards the screen and to my bewilderment saw a third man in the girl's chat box. What? It was the same man I had just seen standing in my room. What the hell? Now, She's dead. all three had their hands on the girl and were gripping tight. The girl wasn't laughing anymore. She had a look of utter devastation. A tear was dropping from her eye, but it wasn't just a tear. It was blood trickling down her eye socket. What? She then mouthed the words, help me. And the next second, she screamed as if her lungs were being ripped off as the screen went black. I immediately got up and pulled the plug out of my computer oh, and you backed out of the room. You're too what you telling me is that that whole time, you couldn't take it out, but now all of a sudden... When it's time for you to help the girl because she need help, you can't take it out? Are you kidding me? You went through the whole process without doing that. Now all of a sudden you can do that? Who's mans? Oh my God. Bruh. Too late. For a couple seconds, I swear I You're heard next. her screams even though the computer was unplugged. The room went quiet. But I was too devastated to stay there and ran out of my house despite it being 3 a.m. I caught a cab and went over to my friends, who had to talk me down for an hour before I could be calmed. I returned back to my house with my friend a day later. Everything was the same. And after thoroughly checking around the house, we concluded that there was no one there. Dude, you're dead. Nor was there a sign of anyone ever having broken in. I've never gone back to the deep web. My friend suggested it might have been some prank by computer hackers, but the way that girl shrieked, the terror she had on her face, it convinced me she had been a victim herself. I had wondered if I had stayed on for longer, if I would have become a victim too. Could those men have found me? Was there really someone in the room with me? There was nothing I could do, because there was nothing concrete to report to the police. What I did do throw the computer out and buy a new one. There was no way I could even open it back up after what happened. Shit. Bro, they, they got your IP address. Oh Bro, God. they don't even... Look that ain't doing was nothing. insane! That ain't worse. Fuck. 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 Now this next one, which isn't an animation, okay, it's live action. I know the transition say first animation, second animation, third animation. Well, it's not. They're not all animations. What are you gonna do? Fight me? <laughs> Put your paws up, cause I don't have time. This next one's called Rue, and it was uploaded by Alter. It's good, guys. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> oh, that's a nice scene. Uh -huh. This was sent to us by Wavy Guy. Uh, I can only call one god, so I'm gonna just say Wavy Guy. Wavy. You know what else is wavy? Ruffles. You know, the wavy ones? Man, those things get your mouth really dry, though. And they kind of scratch. You know, Captain Crunch always gets a lot of flack for, oh, yeah, you, you want the inside of your gum scratched when you eat them? Ruffles? Yeah. Y'all are... Yeah, they kind of right do. With them, though. All right, this is... They kind of do. Track. I ain't gonna hold wavy, you. Wavy, thank you. Alter. Alter be dropping bangers, Here we bro. Here go. It's about to have a twist at the end. Man, alter videos, they always go crazy. Uh, oh. This is like a film. Dang. Alter a whole movie? Facts. How much longer am I gonna be here? Till I see! I'm sorry. Well, since the time that I wasted with you two in the principal's office was supposed to be spent grading papers, maybe that's how much longer you owe me. 
That or until you two want to tell me what this is all about. Ask her. She's the one that rushed me while I was standing in front of the class calling me a cunt. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Reading from a report which not only needs a spell check but was directed squarely at Clubber Lang here. Look, if she took what I wrote personally, that's her problem. Oh, and God. mine is that you're using class time to threaten somebody with the wrath of some bargain bin local ghost. Made up of the hands of the missionary settlers that slaughtered while they were in prayer. Okay, look, I know that you students think us teachers are uptight and preachy and all thou shalt not. But it wasn't that long ago that we were right where you are. Mm -hmm. And some of us care enough to keep our ear to the ground. We hear what's being said, Mallory. Check mm. well. me. You can't control who you fall in love with. Nani? Isn't that right? Huh? And look, I get it. You don't take what I wrote seriously because you're new here. But the story's been around forever. Huh? That it all Listen. starts by seeing things from the corner of your eye. Things you're ashamed of and would do anything to forget. What the hell is going on? Uh, Wait, you can't stop them. Hold on. That's rude. Haunting you. Festering you for slaughter. What's on your lip? You might have finally come. <laughs> he said, what's on your lip? You can't scream. Nothing comes out your mouth. It's like in a nightmare. You said he's dating a student? You oh. can't scream. But yeah, you're right. The lot say it's just some stupid story people tell around the campfire. She got herpes? But you didn't get to hear my conclusion before I was punched in the face. Oh, she, no, oh, she got punched. that's what happened. Whether or not it's true, Rue is guilt. And that, I know for sure is real. Oh. Are you done on? with your soliloquy? Now go stand in the corner. <laughs> get up, go! Go on, get now. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> C minus. I'm fucking crying. Ah, uh, get your trash grease out of my class. All right. So she wrote a paper. And then the girl punched her. I'm not really following the story too well. Kind of, yeah. I'm kind of lost a little bit. Uh. Yo, you good? Oh hey, yeah. Are you good? Get her out of here. Fuck. Uh. Are you good? Like, it's a C minus. You can recover. <laughs> Look, don't let her get to you. Okay, she's just messing with your head because she's angry. Because she likes you more than a friend should, and you're not willing to reciprocate that. <laughs> what? All right, she's the one that should be feeling guilty. She's the one that this ghost would be after. I mean, nothing bad is going to happen just because you regret things. Oh, they were friends. But I need to know, what did you tell her? I'm a little confusion. I love you. What the hell? Hey. Dude, what is happening? Y'all didn't hear her scream?
Trying to be a good teacher. What the fuck? <laughs> Body. Damn. Or something. What is that? What? Oh! Oh! It's the room, which I don't still don't know what. Bro, run! Look at her, just standing there. She about to glitch. She about to move. Oh my gosh. Why do you do this? Oh, it's over. It's over for you. You're gonna run when it's too late. What oh, is that? Is. Why does it look? All right, you guys, we're going to end this spooky, scary Sunday right there. Um, explain? No, bro, because what the fuck did I just watch, chat? What was that? I'm not, I'm, I, I, I am confusion. This shit was, it was fire, but I am so confusion. Like, what just went down? You know what I mean? This week was, uh, this was a nice week. A very well-balanced week. It's like that a trailer Ostrog. I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. It was just so well executed. The narration Golly. coupled with the animation style and the build up i'm gonna need more fire from y'all next week go to twitter Shit. follow me at cory kenshin I'll give go to you twitter a second. go to at twitter go to twitter and follow me as simba the god video that you know doesn't necessarily have to be an animation just something spooky since we missed last sunday i might drop a triple s in the middle of the week who knows oh oh you built Stay different subscribed and hit the bell you don't want to miss it oh you built different Scary Sundays, guys. Spooky, scary I ain't gonna Sundays. hold you, chat. Corey kind of got a—he kind of got a he, he kinda got a, 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 a dump truck. Scary Sundays, guys. Corey kind of got a dump truck back there. Chat, what's going on? What you what you doing out here with all this ass?
double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hella ass. The sun is still out. What are you doing? What you, bro? I'm not touch chat, no, bro. Cause that that fucking clip went viral. No, bro. No, bro. I'm not touching the butt this time, bro. I'm not touching the butt this time. I'm not touching the butt this time. Is he thick? I, you know what I'm saying? But I know I'm not touching the butt this time, bro. Guys. But he out here with mad ass. Be scary Sunday. I'm not slapping it, bro. I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not going to be as known as the ass slapper on Twitch. Like, I just... Y'all y'all put this stigma on me that I just be out here touching butts, bro. Stop, bro. Because my name is Curry Kinchin. All right, so look, 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 All right, chat, so that has been the end. That was a W Spooky Scary Sunday as well. You said memes from Dante? We already reacted to that. We reacted to that yesterday. It just hasn't dropped yet. Be there, be square, you know what I'm saying? But look, um, that has been the end. That was a W Spooky Scary Sunday, okay? So make sure you guys are liking the video, subscribing, turning on notifications and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Do what needs to be done. Like button, subscribe if you're new, notifications, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then after that, come over to the Twitch, come vibe with us, come chill, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We lit over here, we chasing partnership, we need it, you know what I'm saying? As many people over here in the chat as possible. Um, Yeah, and that has been the end of that Spooky Scary Sunday reaction. Chat, y'all tell them bye. And you make sure you say bye to YouTube in the comment section as well. But we out of here, man. Y'all have a good one. Big pieces, big pieces.